Hey YouTubers, if you are watching this video, you are either thinking of or already bought the Basilisk One Control MIDI Programmer. So if you're like me, you looked at the user manual and it was really tough to figure out how to use this thing. So first of all, uh, the purpose of the video is to show you how to program this so that it'll get you to program and send the MIDI messages to the other, to your devices. Uh, like I wanted to. So things you need to know about this device, it can control or it can send up to five different program change messages and five different control change messages per preset, which means you can control with one preset here up to five different MIDI devices, which is pretty flexible. In my case, I only want to control these two, the H9, Eventide H9, and the Strymon Big Sky. Uh, so, let's just go ahead and jump in so you can get the information that you're looking for. Thing you need to know, for each preset, you need to do a two-step process. In this case, I want to go to the preset. Let's go. All right, we are going to program preset bank two, preset number one. Uh, thing you need to know about this uh, Basilisk controller is it has 64 banks of two presets each. So you can have up to 128 presets that you can program. All right, so like I said, for each preset, you can send five different program change messages and five different control change messages. So to program this preset is a two-step process. The first thing you need to do is for each program change message, you need to say which device it's going to. So in my case, this is my rig setup. So I got my super switcher, my electroharmonic super switcher. That's MIDI channel one, which is the default. The Basilisk is MIDI channel two. Eventide H9 is MIDI channel three. And the Strymon Big Sky, I programmed to be channel four. All right, so here's what we're gonna do for this preset. Press and hold the down arrow. All right. So what this is saying is that for program change one, you are sending it to device number four. That's not what I want to do. I want to send program change message one to three. So then press this. Now this is program change message two. I'm going to send that to the Strymon Big Sky. And that is it. Save it. There. All right. So now you're still on preset bank two, preset number one. Now we have said that program change message one is going to a certain device. Program change message two is going to a certain device. Well, what numbers, what values are we going to send? Press and hold this button. So now we said that we're going to send a code to the Eventide H9. All right, well, what code are we going to send it? This is the awesome H9 interface. And what you need to do, let's get that glare off, is go to the MIDI setting, pedal settings. All right, and then we go to MIDI settings. And then we go to our program change receive map. So that tells you all of the presets that are set on your H9 and the code values that you need to send or that the H9 should receive to switch to that preset. In my case, I want to send number 17, which is this Just the Fuzz preset. So let's say right now we have a value of 13. And the nice thing is, as you change it, change the value, you can see the value change on the H9. There, that's the one I want. So then we go to the next program change message. And in this case, we're going to program send a message to the H9. Same thing, as you change the value, it changes on the Strymon Big, uh, Strymon Big Sky. 
and that is the one I want. So as I mentioned before, you can send up to five different program change messages, but in my case, that's all we're doing. So press and save. Hold that. Save it. Good deal. All right, so now we have the presets there. Let's test this out. Let's go down a bank. All right, and then we'll go back up. Excellent. Okay, so now you see how to program and control two different devices. Like I said, you can control up to five different devices with this thing. Now, for those of you who wanted to program the Basilisk and that's all you wanted to know, that's all the information I got for you. I'm not going to go into what is a program change message and what is a control message, control change message. I will tell you why I bought this. As you see, this you can't control or you can't connect any of these other pedals to this. All you can connect are MIDI connections. So there's a MIDI in and there's two MIDI outs. So each one of these MIDI outs, one of them goes here, one of them goes there. The reason I got this is because I have this Electro Harmonics Super Switcher, which is an awesome device. I can't say enough about it. It is a wonderful device. Not very expensive, and it is super flexible, so easy to program. So right now we are in preset mode. You have um, either that or you can go to uh, instant access. And what that means is if you're trying out different combinations, each one of these numbers corresponds to one of these pedals. So by pressing one, you see which pedal you have activated. And if you don't have it list, if, it, if it's not lit up, then obviously it's not going to be in this signal. So for me, I want to program preset number one, bank one, uh, preset number seven. I don't want my compressor. I do want my H9 and I want my Big Sky. That's it. You don't have to hit any save buttons or anything else. At that point, you've saved that preset, which is awesome, right? How easy is that? All right, so we're back to that. Now, the other thing that this uh, Super Switcher has is it can send a program change message and a control message. The only issue is it can only send one at a time for each preset. So you can only control one MIDI device. Now, because we have this Basilisk uh, controller, which controls up to five devices, this has a MIDI in. So if you send it a program change message to a particular preset that controls these other devices, you overcome this issue of just having one. So how do you program this program change message? First of all, if you remember, we were program we programmed this uh, bank two number one. So we have to send a code of a number three. Why is it number three? Because the way the basilisk is, this is preset number zero. It's preset number one. Got to go up a bank. This is now preset number two. So we have to send it a preset number of two in order to get the uh, combination that we programmed into the basilisk. So how do we do that? Press and hold that. Now you see that the display says program change number. All right, so here we're going to set that to, and uh, that's not it, we want to press value. Number one, number two, good to go. Now, what channel is it? If you remember from the diagram, the basilisk is MIDI channel number two. So we're gonna send number two to that. Okay, then press and hold value. And that's programmed in. Okay, and you can see already that we set preset number two to that. 
which is our combination. So let's uh, press, let's say number one, which sends preset number zero. That's fine. There, we still use preset number zero. And now number seven, we're sending preset number two. So there you go. Uh, this isn't a review of the Super Switcher or any of the devices on my on my rig, but I gotta say the Super Switcher, I absolutely love it. It's super easy to use. The manual makes complete sense and very usable. The Basilisk, I can't say enough about how awesome this little device is that you can control up to five different MIDI devices. So if you're a big Strymon nut, uh, that little controller will save you a, a lot of uh, programming if you just send, if you send a MIDI in to change to the preset that you programmed there. Uh, H9, you guys really hit the ball out of the park with this device. That's got to be one of my favorite pedals because this interface is so easy to use. I absolutely love it. So the Eventide has to be one of my favorite, probably the, the favorite pedal <laughs> on the board. And then the Strymon Big Sky, just a great quality pedal. So uh, great sound, uh, easy to program also. Uh, but a very high quality pedal. So anyway, feel free to send me questions. If you are looking to, for uh, the uh, flash, uh, what is that called? There's an, yeah, there's a flash mode and there's a direct mode on the Basilisk. I haven't used it, other people have, and they've done videos on it, so I'm not gonna cover it here. And also, like I said, these outs, one goes to the H9, one goes to the Strymon Big Sky, I didn't use MIDI through, so I know some folks have some issues with the H9 or with uh, the Big Sky with MIDI through. Don't know, can't tell you. This is how I wired mine up and it seems to work fine. So, all right, that's all I got for you. Uh, enjoy.